The next two examples that I have for you are involving rational exponents. So they're radical um, expressions and equations that we're going to be working with. So we have x to the 3 halves is equal to 216. So what you're trying to do is isolate x, right? But since it's to the 3 halves power, what we can do is to use the power property. And since it's 3 halves and you want to make it 1, we multiply or we take to the 2 thirds power. Okay, so that 3 halves times its reciprocal is 1, so we just get x left. And then we have 216 to the 2 thirds, but I mean you can do it on a calculator, but 216 is 6 to the third power, and then we have that to the 2 thirds power. So since we have exponent to the exponent, we multiply the values, so we get 6 squared, which is 36. And so our solution set would consist of 36, and you should plug it back in and check. So I'll leave that part up to you guys. The second equation that we have is a bit more complicated, but the concepts are exactly the same. So we have x plus 7 to the 2 fifths power equals 4. For this one, since we have 2 fifths power, we're going to multiply by its reciprocal. So we're going to take both sides to the 5 halves. Both sides to the 5 halves. And when we do so, here once again we have a fraction times its reciprocal, so it's going to be the identity, which is multiplicative identity is 1. And here we have 4 to the 5 halves. So in other words, it's square root of 4 to the 5th. Okay, and square root of 4 is 2, so this is going to be 2 to the 5th, which is 32. So we have x plus 7 equals 32, and our final step is going to be subtract 7 from both sides, so we get x, x is equal to 25. And once again, I'll leave it up to you to check. 